Hey guys, Alex Williamson with The Secret History Living Inside of Your Aquarium. Today I'm here with just a couple quick tips, a uh, short video. So if you haven't seen API test kits, you're probably not keeping your fish properly or your aquarium healthy. Um, this is kind of the ubiquitous testing strip and these are the liquid test kits. So in this liquid test kit, you're testing for pH, high pH, nitrates, nitrites, and your ammonia level. Now, ammonia ideally shouldn't be in the tank if it's already cycled, and neither should nitrites. Nitrates may be in your tank, but you need to watch those. So really, your nitrates are all you're testing for if you know your tank is cycled. Now, on these strips, however, if you're raising shrimp or some other sort of critter, you need to buy these, and there's 25 of these for like $20, which is kind of expensive if you're living on a budget. So, I was recently told a handy little trick, and it's on these strips which test uh, GH, KH, PH, uh, nitrates, and nitrites. If you take scissors and you cut them right down the center, and you gotta be careful when you hit the patch just to make sure that you don't cut yourself, you can actually get two readable test strips out of one strip, just like this, with enough space to read the color on each. Now these aren't extremely accurate, but it's better than nothing, and if you don't have high-end testing equipment or you're not into the hobby that much yet, this is a great way to save some money. These have a lot of user error. It's easy to add a couple too many drops or whatever. Um, these sometimes can be done wrong. What you're supposed to do is you dip them in the fish tank, swirl them around, pull it out, and set it down. You don't want to make sure it's wet or anything. It'll be wet. If you soaked it in water, it's going to be wet. And then you wait for it to turn colors and you compare it under ideally natural light. But if you don't have that, like a strong LED, and another tip for you guys while I'm here is if you are a YouTuber on a budget who needs more subscribers and can't afford a lamp, you can use your fish grow lamp as your lighting source. Cameraman? <clears throat> They're really bright. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in guys. I'll see you next time. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks, and let me know if you have any questions. Take care, and keep on swimming.